the one thing, and there it's always been the argument is like, you know, as far as music, music is like an image online. It's just something that people can share, download. And it's like, well, you just look for it. That's the way it is. You go to this and there's the music. You don't think about, you assume like if you're listening on Spotify, people are getting paid, which they are, you know, just whatever. It, getting paid more than if you were to download their stuff and just play it over and over again. Uh, but now that you couldn't play shows, cause that was always the thing is you can sell physical stuff there. You can play, get paid, for, get paid for the show. No, you don't. Um, most of the places it'll be like, Oh, here's 25 bucks for playing an hour. Um, sorry, that was a weird rant. Uh, and then, uh, weird. It's true. <laughs> I know. And, uh, but how, how did you decide to, cause that's really one of the hardest things is because yeah. music is just something that's on the internet. Like it, it people get, some people are like, well, I'm not going to pay for that. It, which is their right. I mean, when I walk into a convenience store, there's all these, this gum there doesn't mean that I have to buy all the gum that's there. So how have you been monetizing or what have you learned about monetizing what you do? Well, a lot of what I learned was just like a kind of relearning things that I already had. I mean, you're very well, well, very well aware of creative commons, right? So yes. like the, the, I, and that's what's, it, it might seem counterintuitive for me to say, cause I have release all my music free under creative commons and actually open source too. Like people can go and download. Not enough people do that. I think I don't push it as much. I've kind of just still like, Oh man. Uh, uh, but the, there's this, there's this phrase, I figure what it is. I think it's in Taoism or something where it's like you, 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 uh, master has no possessions. Like you, you, if you give everything out, you give everything away, you'll, you can get everything back. Like, you have to be you have to be willing to do that and i feel like i mean with creative commons you're able i'm able to get free syncs essentially by releasing my music for free i get it all over youtube right i get it all over podcasts and in games right. indie games and stuff like so many people come to my car mechanic simulator 2018 baby that's oh my the god one. i'm in that too <laughs> nice hell yeah they, nice that, that's the one they go they go they yeah. went for creative commons apparently there's a whole radio station that's like all like my entire discography it's just mm -hmm. one radio station <laughs> and i get so many people coming and it's like, wow. the weirdest game because it's literally you're a mechanic working in a shop and a radio is playing in the background while right. you work on cars and yeah that's where because somebody said because what they normally do is they'll comment on your video going found this in Exactly. You know, whatever game it was. CM18. <laughs> CMS18. Or, yeah. Yeah. So that, I mean, I learned actually the, the streams of revenue, I guess, is that's the real thing about monetizing. Monetizing is just kind of a big a blanket word for just making sure you're making money. You make money from a thing. Right. And, and so what I'm, the, the stuff that I get is mostly Spotify. Like you, you say that they pay people and I kind of chortle a little bit. They do pay people. Mm -hmm. That's true. But the but and I would argue that it, I mean it's like what point zero zero three cents per stream or something like that. Depending um, on how many streams that day, like it's it's right. actually a percentage of the day. Right. So yeah, yeah. they they just they make an arbitrary way to pay people that they've right. decided and and it's not I stream when I stream your music on Spotify, it's not going to you that my, my nine ninety nine for my premium isn't going to go to you or whatever, or that ad targeted at me isn't going to go to you or right. whatever. It's, it's goes into the big pool and then they distribute it back out. And, um, and, um, but still the mo where everyone listens to music and still one of the best ways. I mean, it, it's the, it's my highest, um, streaming revenue. And, mm -hmm. And that's um, one of the different ways that I didn't understand is I didn't fully comprehend that also ASCAP is going to be – um, is all, ASCAP also collects Spotify royalties, and so does this company called SongTrust. Mm -hmm. And so essentially I signed up for both of those and then started seeing that, oh, there's tons of this – I mean it's not tons, but like there's money that's – I've literally just been out there that I haven't been collecting. And so just, you know, using that and trying to do that and um, where you have passive regular income, just as long as your people are listening, you know, you'll be able to do that. But then there's also, there's also other ways to, to, you know, Patreon is a great one or, you know, live streaming, you get donations in live streams and right. stuff too, which would be, which are great, you know, and, you know, live streaming is a great way to reach people. Um, yeah. But 
but the but yeah that that I did a lot of live streaming this last year that's for sure uh, I would do it like weekly on Twitch and was just learning that and I learned so much about how important interaction is and that's yeah. and that and that's the and it actually it was difficult because at first to transition because I knew it was going to be different than live performances obviously but I didn't really know how different and I was coming and in, going into it kind of still with the same expectations of a live show just subconsciously I was doing that I was trying not to but I went in and it was just like I play this song and I'm trying to pour my heart out into this song and then and then it's you know if I don't look at the chat there's nothing it's just like it's just me playing to a screen right, right. And well, so and then in the yeah. same concept, you're, you're pouring your heart out. And at the same time, the chat is like, what's that keyboard you're using? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. And, but that's, but that's part of it. And that's really it. Like people want to engage with you. They're, they're interested and they have the ability to ask you that question. And that's the beauty of it. And, and yeah, that's like the thing that, uh, kind of turns it around, but you could also go down the rabbit hole of all of a sudden you're just having a conversation with someone. You have to learn how to kind of yeah. balance it. <laughs> 